Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Daily Word. It is Thursday, December 3rd of the year 2020. Chilly morning this morning, but I'm glad you could join me this morning as we spend a few minutes together. You can tell I've decided to change my location for our Daily Word. Moved out of my office where it's kind of boring and into the fireside room. You can see the tree and candles and things in my behind me. And this is the room last night, of course, where we did our our Advent fireside chat. And so um, that was a good evening to share together. And we'll do that for the next couple of Wednesdays. So I'm going to go ahead and light my candle this morning. The candle, of course, and I'm going to use the Christ candle that usually would be on the mantle behind me, and I'm going to put it there after I light it. This is the Christ candle that is in the Advent wreath that's here in the fireside room, and this is the presence of the Holy Spirit with us. And so we light it knowing that God is always with us through the promise and the power of the Holy Spirit. Just as the Spirit blew through like a violent wind on Pentecost and changed the lives of those who were there, so the Holy Spirit is in our lives and changes us. So I'm going to put the candle up here. And I think we can probably even still see it. Yeah, we can. Very good. So I've chosen this morning for our scripture, um, Isaiah 9, verse 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. I love these prophecy texts as we make our way through the season of Advent. This, these prophecy texts that foretell the coming of the Christ, of the Messiah, and especially the Isaiah ones. They are they are so descriptive. If you were to read this entire Isaiah chapter 9, you get all of these interesting things that Isaiah has to say about the coming of the Messiah. But what's important um, in this particular verse that I've chosen is, well, we know it, names are important. You know, the very first task that that happened in the Bible was to give names to the animals. Jesus, when he called some of his disciples, called them by their name and even for Peter changed his name, you know, and, and called him, called him the rock and upon this rock, I will build my church. And so this famous prophecy that we hear from Isaiah um, uses these names to celebrate how amazing it is, this human experience of Jesus, God come in the flesh, that Isaiah wrote some 600 years prior to it happening. Now, in all of our lives, we have these need for these names as we think about who Jesus is in our lives. Sometimes for us, you know, it helps to be sentimental. And we see a baby lying in a manger. And that baby reminds us that God comes to us in the most vulnerable times of our lives and wraps us, if you will, in swaddling clothes and gives others to care for us in the midst of our lives. We've all been blessed by that from time to time. Isaiah reminds us that Jesus is wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. And in a world that was so thrown into chaos, in a world where Caesar Augustus had declared that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. In a world where Mary, this young woman, said yes to the angel's invitation. And then the chaos of traveling to the, the 
the hometown of Joseph to be registered for the census. And if you can imagine all the crowd and all the chaos and all that must have been going on as people rush to those places, I think about that in our world, the chaos that we live in. And take out the pandemic, and this season of Advent is full enough of chaos on its own, is it not? People shop, people go from place to place, the weather changes, we have snow, the roads get slippery. We try to plan for all the eventual things. We we ask and we ask, we ask, what, what do you want for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? And we don't always get the answers that we want. We try to shop and do all the things and prepare for all the hubbub of Christmas. The chaos of that can sometimes for us be overwhelming. I was thinking about it last night when I, when I got home, you know, I I really enjoyed our Advent fireside chat last night. Um, I love the book that we're going to use. No one's asked me for a copy yet, but I'm really willing to buy you a copy. If you want a copy, Um, I thought about all of that and in our conversations and, and Kelsey Heiler coming online with us and being in that conversation and our traditions. I thought about, you know, our our own genealogies and, and I wanna say more about that at another time. I won't ex- elaborate today, but I thought about all of that and what we do on Sunday morning and this daily conversation and then and then every Wednesday and, and trying to make all of this connect. And, and for me, These are reminders for us that Isaiah, some 600 years before Jesus was born, said to those who would listen, look, a child is born, a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he'll be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. You know, it's an incredible promise given to us that we're not left alone to figure out everything by ourselves, that this wonderful counselor Jesus will guide us. We're not, we're not left alone, but the power of God, mighty God, everlasting Father, a reminder that God's the same yesterday, today, and always. And, and as we heard a couple days ago from the very beginning of the Gospel of John, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. That God is, that God is everlasting. And finally, that there is this name, the Prince of Peace. It's about not outside peace where war ravages, but I really think that this is about internal peace, inner peace, that the fundamental nature of Jesus was to bring peace to those he encountered, to be on this down to earth level with us. And so Jesus, the mighty God came for us counsels us and brings us peace. It started, as we know, with a birth, a baby in a manger. Isaiah predicted it by a name. And I think, you know, in this season of chaos, that's something for us to hold on to, something for us to be reminded of, that while the world is always chaotic, always has been, always will be, all the way back to Mary and Joseph making their way. While chaos is around us, Isaiah says, in the midst of that chaos, a child is born, a son is given, wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. And I hope that for us in this season, that we might ponder that a bit, that we might know 
that God is always present with us. And that when we take a break, when we separate ourselves from all the chaos, that we trust God to always be present with us. Might you find something in these words to hold on to today as we seek to grow our faith and our trusting God. So I pray that you'll have a great day. I pray that you'll know of God's love and God's peace in your lives. I pray that this Prince of Peace that we know um, will have an impact on your life in a new way in this season of Advent. And that together, as we tell our stories, as we share our traditions, as we live our lives together, either in person or virtually, that we know what Isaiah knew. And Isaiah said, look, a child being born is going to change the world and in turn changes us. May you know peace and love this day, God's love, and may you know my love for all of you. And I pray you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.